Hi, my name is Mattiazzi and this video demonstrates the features of my new custom firmware for the Launchpad Pro. My custom firmware is optimized for performances and covers while retaining almost all of the functionality from the stock firmware. The modification is easy to install, free to use and works with every currently existing project or DAW. The whole project was made possible by Novation, who open sourced the Launchpad firmware allowing developers like me to create their own custom apps for the Launchpad. Once you download the GitHub repo, you will find the firmware file inside of the build folder. To install the firmware, simply send the sysx messages from the file to the Launchpad Pro while it is in bootloader mode. To enter bootloader mode, hold setup while powering on. You can use my flash tool to easily upload the firmware file to your Launchpad. You can also use this to roll back to the stock firmware at any time you like. Once your Launchpad is running the custom firmware, you will notice that it now displays itself as Launchpad Open. You will need to set it up again with Ableton in order to use it. To access live mode, you have to set your Launchpad Pro up the same way you would set up a normal one, but you have to use the MIDI port instead of the live port, which doesn't exist in the open source firmware. For any of the other modes, just use the standalone modes output. Note that on Windows, the standalone port displays itself as just Launchpad Open, and the MIDI port displays itself as Launchpad Open Port 2. The setup mode has had a slight overhaul. You don't have to hold the setup button anymore in order to change the settings on your launchpad. If you're used to the old way though, the launchpad will recognize it and it will take you back when you release the button. In the top left corner, you can find the modes. In order, performance mode, live mode, note mode, drum mode, fader mode, and programmer mode. All of the modes that can also be found on stock firmware retain the same functionality that they have on stock, which means you can use them exactly the same way as you've used them before. In the bottom left corner, you'll find the velocity sensitivity toggle. If it's bright, it's enabled, but if it's dim, it's disabled. The new performance mode is designed to eliminate the need for Top Lights plugins and Retina 2.1 on the host machine. Top Lights are made directly available via normal no on messages, and the velocities received are displayed using the currently selected palette. This also allows for placing samples on the top row. You can also access the mode light in performance mode. When you're using the performance mode, additional options will appear in the setup mode. In the top right corner, you can select your top lights configuration. In order, Pro, MK2, MK2 Rotated, and MK2 Mirrored. In the bottom right corner, you can select the palette. The top row selects the three custom palettes stored on the launchpad's flash memory, which means you can carry them even across different computers. If one of those palettes is selected, a rainbow edit button will be displayed on the left side. Alongside editing directly on the launchpad, they can also be uploaded to the launchpad in the Retina palette file format. The bottom row selects three built-in preset palettes, in order, Novation's palette, My Custom palette, and the Launchpad S palette. The palette editor shows a preview of the selected palette in left to right, top to bottom order. The top row displays the currently selected velocity in its 7-bit binary form. You can select the velocity either by flipping the bits to reach a desired number, or by directly selecting a velocity from the preview. The left column displays the amount of red, the bottom row displays the amount of green, and the right column displays the amount of blue of the currently selected velocity in their 6-bit binary forms. To modify the color, flip the bits of the color channels to reach a desired number. For the vertical values, the topmost bit is most significant and the bottommost bit is least significant. If you want to upload a palette made with Retina to your launchpad, you can use the palette uploader to upload a Retina palette into one of the palette slots on the launchpad. Simply load it up in Max, select your launchpad's standalone port, and the desired palette index. Then click Upload and select your Retina palette file. As the project develops, this video will likely become out of date. Make sure to also read the README in order to get updated on all of the latest features. If you happen to find any issues, you can report them using GitHub's issue tracker or directly to me over Discord. 